Hello guys and welcome to the next topograph tutorial video of Transport Info. In this short video we are going to learn about weekly rests. So first, as always, we have to go to our web page, which is www.transportcommunity.eu and then transport, road transport, tachograph regulations and we have, we need the 561 regulation amended version so that's the new one with the mobility package that's the one we need and of course as I said in the previous video we have an explanation we have a guide which called trace in English and we can use this one as well to explain what is what regarding weekly breaks weekly rests so still article 8 in any two consecutive weeks a driver shall take at least a option a two regular weekly rest periods the regular weekly rest is at least 45 hours or more that's option one or option b one regular weekly rest period and one reduced weekly rest period of at least 24 hours the reduced weekly rest period of course is at least 24 hours but less than 45 hours so somewhere between 24 and 45 for instance if you have a 44 hours break weekly rest that's only a reduced weekly rest but now let's take a quick look on the picture this one is easier so correctly taken weekly rest and we have to go back uh, just one sentence a definition as we learned in the previous videos week the week starts at Monday zero and the week finish Sunday midnight UTC basically the tachograph use the UTC time but of course you can use the local time as well now let's see how to use option A and option B Option A was, in any two consecutive weeks, a driver shall take at least two regular weekly rest periods. Go back to the picture. We have two consecutive weeks here, week one and week two. And you have one regular weekly rest here and the other one is here. So that's fine. That's legal option b one regular weekly rest period and one reduced weekly rest period go back to the picture again and you have one as we see week two and week three as two consecutive weeks now we have one regular break on week two and the next one is reduced so that's legal you can do that this break belongs to week two and the next one is reduced but at this stage the next one has to be regular again and don't forget the fact as you have to compensate every single weekly reduced weekly rest so that means you have to give back those hours but as I said I'm going to explain this in the next video so that's the basic uh, situation and uh, one more thing once again I have to say that just to make it clear so you can use this break you can take this break on week two or week three 
and you have this break which goes through the weekend so you have the option to make a decision as this break belongs to week two or week three but this regular break cannot belong belongs to both week and the point is each week week one week two week three week four each week should include a weekly rest period okay let's go further the weekly rest period shall start no later than at the end of six 24 hour periods from the end of the previous weekly rest period this one is very simple you can see here so if you finished your weekly rest here you have six 24 hour periods six days in english to do your job and then you have to start your next weekly rest latest here so that's the maximum but of course if you want to take only five or less you have the option to do that so but that's a basic regulation as you can work only six days which means six 24 hour periods between two weekly rest that's the maximum right okay in the next video I'm going to explain the compensation of the reduced weekly rest. I will tell you a secret about compensation. Actually, two secrets. I have one here, which is if the authority want to check the compensation, it's difficult at the roadside. As this trace document says, at the roadside, however such, checks are restricted by the limited number of records that are required to be produced that means they can ask you to provide only 28 days and that's the reason the new regulation wants to increase this number because it's really difficult to check the compensation of a reduced weekly rest right that's it for now guys in the next video, I'm going to explain the compensation of the reduced weekly rest. And after that, we go further and we just take a quick look on the new regulation. Mobility package brought that new regulation as you can take two consecutive weekly rests, reduced weekly rests, but the conditions are serious so we have to check those conditions how can you do that so that's it for now but if you have any question in the meantime of course you can go to the very new web page www.transportcommunity.eu we have a community here and you can join us and you can just ask your question here and i try to do my best to answer it right that's it for now mind yourself as i used to say just keep your money in your wallet and don't forget to subscribe join us and see you in the next video thanks